Hey friends, how you doing? Today we're going to be working on this DS Lite. Now this belongs to a friend of mine, James. He'll be watching this video. Hi James. Um, what's wrong with this one is if you turn it on, like it works fine, everything with it's good, but a common issue with some DS Lites, if they've ever been opened as well, is that touchscreen can be pretty temperamental. So I'll go on a picture chart, and you can see here, you scribble over here, it works alright. Down here it works pretty good. But around here, you can see it's kind of just like very iffy. You can scribble up around there, but down the bottom area, like that, that's it's not that bad, but it's it's kind of annoying, especially if you're playing games that rely heavily on a lot of touch stuff. So a good way to fix that type of thing is you replace. I think it's the digitizer sitting on top which controls all the touch and everything. They're relatively cheap to get. You can pick them up, I think, for about 10 bucks on eBay for a replacement digitizer. The only issue then is that you have to take off this plastic trim and peel off the old digitizer and carefully lay the, the new one down. It's pretty hard to do. Another way to get around that quite easily is to get a broken DS Lite, as long as the screen on it is fine. So here is a replacement used uh, touch screen for a DS Lite and it was black as well so I don't even have to bother changing over the little trim here. So this is what we're going to be swapping out today. Um, I've tested this in another DS Lite and this works mint so much better than the other one. So we're going to be swapping out this touch screen for this one and probably just giving it a good clean because it's a bit, it's a little bit dirty but it is black so obviously it's going to hold a lot of fingerprints and all sorts of shit on it. But that's the plan for today. So we're going to do New touch screen, give it a nice clean, probably remove the sticker and all sorts of stuff, and it should come out looking pretty nice. So let's get into that.
Okay, 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 here we go. Nice and fixed. Touch screen. Works minty. How good. Um, it works awesome now. I gave it a good old clean. Um, it cleaned up pretty well, but you can see there's some wear marks around there and around the edge isn't too bad either. But I ended up having to swap over the top screen as well, which I did off camera because I just wanted to get it done. Um, because with the parts one I had, the bottom screen and top screen were different brightnesses because I think they were different models. So one had a lot brighter screen than the other one. So when I swapped them over, it didn't work as well. So I ended up having to swap the top screen over as well, which was a bit of a process, but hey, it's done as well. And you can't really tell I was in there. There's a couple little marks that you get from doing the top screen swap over as well. But um, overall, I'm pretty happy with this and I think James will be as well. It plays games perfectly. Um, I can go to my, I can play my go-to game, Mario Kart, because Mario Kart's just a classic on anything really. There you go, you can see that everything works really well. And yeah, it's not too shab, not too shab. Overall, it did have like, if you have a look at it, there's a couple little swirls. And obviously it's got fingerprints all over it because I've just touched it, but the condition's not too bad. I cleaned up that sticker on the back and it's come up looking pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Um, please do the subscribes and all the things and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.